Okay, we're going to start out by drilling our holes, and I've got you in here in the wood shop and my, my drill press. And um, since I've already drilled my pieces PVC, I'm going to use this piece as an example on how you would do your holes. Now, I would recommend that you use something just a little bit bigger than this, but this will work for my demonstration. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to use either a 5 16 or an 11 seconds drill bit, and we're going to bore a hole just in one side of this pipe. Now one little trick that I figured out is if you've got some writing on your pipe, you can use that writing to drill your holes in and that'll give all your nipples a nice straight line to go by when you're drilling your holes. But now that we've got the hole drilled, the next step before we put in the nipple is to take a bolt of the same size and thread as the nipple and to screw this into the pipe. And you may need a wrench to do this, but after you get it worked in and take it back out, you'll have threads. Now you'll be able to screw your nipple right into the pipe. Cap for the end of the PVC and in the end of one of them we're going to drill a hole and screw this down into it which is a fitting for our water hose. I took an old garden hose and cut it down to a short piece and then I bought me this bucket. And I bought this at Lowe's. And what really impressed me about this bucket is that it's food safe. It contains no BPA. It's also got measurements on the side for how much water or whatever you put in it. Now this piece in the bottom of the bucket. This piece was a little bit pricey. I had $12 in this piece. But it has a gasket which helps seal. So I, wouldn't have, I didn't have to use any silicone or sealant, which I really liked. Cut a hole in the bottom of the bucket, put that in and tightened it down, which made that gasket in there flare out and seal. And then I bought a brass fitting and a shutoff switch, which will screw onto the hose. The hose will screw on there. Now the plan is, is to cut a small hole in the fence and attach the bucket to sit up here. The hose will come up through and screw on and the chickens will have water all the time clean water okay so i finished hooking it up and you can see we've got a a few birds here that are curious now i elevated it a little bit more on the other end so it'd be a little bit more comfortable for the turkeys to get water i don't think they've figured that out yet but it won't take long and within a couple hours they'll all realize this is for water but anyhow, let me run you through what I did. I used the strings to tie it up to the bottom of the tractor, hang it from the roof like I said a minute ago. I cut a hole in the front for the hose to run out, and then I just ran it in there and connected it with a clamp to the fitting. And here you can see, I uh, every, every evening we pulled the tarp over over the cage, and I didn't want the bucket to sit directly on top of the cage and interfere with the tarp. So I screwed this three-quarter board down on and hang that way I would hold the jug off to the side of the tractor and we're still able to work the tarp and the lid without moving the bucket. And that's a three-quarter piece of plywood is plenty strong enough to hold the weight of the water also. So pretty simple. Pretty simple. Now, probably for today, I'll still go ahead and fill up this water bucket until they all get the hang of, of drinking out of that. And we'll see if this starts to slow down on how quick they drain it. So, anyway, this is my uh, chicken water. And uh, if you're interested in, in making one, I hope this video has helped. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. JC's Organic Farming.